I had to do it to him. I had to. What is up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, and I'm back with another Funko Pop video slash anime video, I guess, mail call. Now, before I get into it, I gotta say welcome back to all my returning viewers and subscribers, and I gotta thank y'all for always coming back, showing love, showing support to the channel, and the videos, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, sharing the videos, and just interacting with me, basically. So big shout out to y'all, I love y'all. Secondly, if you're a new viewer to the channel, welcome to the channel, I do Funko Pop content like Funko Pop hauls, Funko Pop reviews, uh, mail calls, anime content, Dragon Ball Z content, I do all that on the channel. So if you like content like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button. In fact, hit it right now so you won't forget. Thirdly, don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram at Dark Sage Collections. The link will be in the description below. And I have a public Discord for collectors and nerds all alike. So if you wanna join that, the link for that will be in the description below as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So if you've seen my previous two videos of this week, which are pretty sad because I got some very horrible mystery boxes from uh, Child's Collectibles. This mail call is basically to redeem my sorrows. I did some sad spending and I got quite a good amount of things that I, I've been needing for the collection. Now, I'm just playing guys. I did get a lot of this stuff before the mystery boxes. I, in fact, I think I got most of this stuff before the mystery boxes. It's just some was on pre-order, some was on way on Amazon because of the cold COVID-19 thing. Amazon's kind of shipping things a little later than usual, but I'm just glad that everything got here in one piece. I got a grail call. I got some manga. Manga, in case you know, y'all wonder why I say manga like that. I just like the way manga sounds more than manga. Got a Blu-ray call and uh, I got a custom call from my boy, Lazy Customs. Big shout out to him. I'll put his Instagram in the description below as well. So let's get into it. First off, I wanted to show this because I've been needing this. If you didn't know, guys, I am a manga collector. I have a whole bunch of other manga volumes. I don't have a bunch, but I have other manga uh, books in my um, actual room. It's on a bookshelf and all that, but I don't have it in my, this room right here. But I do have a whole collection of manga. I'm trying to add more to it. And this Dragon Ball complete set, this is just of Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, just Dragon Ball, the first series. And I had to get this, guys. I still got Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I bought it from Amazon. It's still on its way, but I got this bad boy for hundred dollars. At first, on Amazon, I saw it for sixty. I didn't buy it because I was like, eh, "It's gonna stay at sixty for a while." Then I saw it jump to hundred, and I was like, "Okay, it's time for me to stop playing. Let me go ahead and buy this." And I've been needing this because I wanted to get all the Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Super manga uh, manga books in my collection. Just so you know, I like to read mangas. I like to have the physical manga in hand. Um, I know some of y'all thinking that I can't read, and um, y'all are probably right, but this is the back of the box right here. This is, uh, what, how many issues? 16 issues? That's a quick few hours right there. It includes manga volumes 1 through 16, exclusive double-sided poster, a Dragon Ball collector's booklet. I mean, eh, I'm not really hyped for the booklet and all that. I just wanted all the manga at a cheap price, basically, because if you really think about it, manga is about $9.99, so about $10 a volume. There's 16 volumes, 10 times 16. That's 160. I bought this for 100. Pretty good deal. So, <sighs> thank you, Amazon. Always look at Amazon for those deals, guys. Trust me, it'll save you. Next up on the list, this is a package from a friend from the Discord server right here. Uh, he ordered a few Naruto's, Naruto Rasengan, but Amazon kept sending him Naruto the first, uh, the first round one. It's like right here. Y'all probably can see it because of the glare. But basically, this is the first one. I wanted to double up on it because y'all already know. I gotta have one for the collection and one for the six collection. So let's see how he shipped it. I'm pretty sure he shipped it, but I gotta say, shout out to you, Arturo. I'm pretty sure you're wondering why I haven't opened it yet, but it was because I want to do this on video, and um, I'm very happy to have this now. My boy packaged it well. If you're in my Discord, you better be packaging Pops well because I'm gonna call you out. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bubble wrap that I'm gonna use on other things. Here goes the pop right here, guys. This is Naruto from Naruto Shippuden, obviously the title, the title character. And I'm a big Naruto fan, guys. I gotta get the Naruto manga box set when I can, but it's expensive and there's three versions and that's just a pocket killer, guys. But here you go, Naruto right here. He got this from Amazon and now I technically got this from him in the Amazon package. That sounds like some Inception type stuff. But I had to get this for the collection because I got to get the voice actor to sign this one. Now that I got a double, because I got her to sign my Sage Mode Naruto and it looks horrible because I got it in Sharpie. But now I got to get her to sign this in a paint pen, a nice looking paint pen at that. Um, 
I think I'm gonna have her sign and believe it or something. I don't know, I don't know yet. I don't know, I gotta think about that. Next up right here, we got a Blu-ray package from Right Stuff Anime. This is a site where you can order a whole bunch of anime stuff like anime Blu-rays, manga boxes, manga uh, volumes and things like that. And this is my first time testing the site out. I've always been a window shopper on the site, but I've never actually bought something, but this is gonna be my first package from them. And it has to be one of my favorite animes from my childhood back on Toonami. I have nowhere else to stream it, honestly. And if I could stream it on like BRV or Hulu, I would, but I don't. And plus, I don't mind supporting the uh, developers or the content creators that make this type of stuff because you guys got to pay for the things that you like in order for you to get more stuff like that, if you get what I'm saying. Bobo Bo Blu-ray set. Oh my God, that's upside down. Bobo Bo, the Blu-ray set. This is uh, the whole show, the whole uh, anime series. 76 episodes in standard definition, but it's SD on blu-ray dvd i had to get this i am a big uh blu-ray collector as well i've been slacking on it heavily because i've been more heavy on the pops because obviously the pops are going to grow more in value than blu-rays are but if you guys didn't know blu-ray dvds especially for anime they're pretty expensive this would have cost me a loan if it was at full price like 60 to 70 bucks including shipping but i saw this on sale for about 40 dollars. that's about half the price right there it was a complete steal especially for an anime that i loved especially that i like i just i won't say i grew up watching because there's only 76 episodes it didn't air on toonami that long but this was a show i definitely loved when this came on saturday with new episodes i was sitting my butt in that seat or well in that bed i didn't really have a seat in my room that that time but i sat my butt in that bed Bubble Bo, 76 episodes, another Shonen Jump uh, property. I think it's Shonen Jump. It was in Jump Stars, the one that was on PS3 that got ported to PS4 too. And I do love playing with Bubble Bo. I love the show. If you like comedy and anime and action, go ahead, check this show out right here. Now, guys, we got an FYE package. Now, y'all already know I'm a Dragon Ball Z completionist. If you're a returning viewer, y'all already know that. If you're a newer viewer, I love Dragon Ball Z. You could probably see it from my username right here but i'm a big dragon ball z fan and i gotta keep my dragon ball z funko pop set complete and this went live on fie i pre-ordered this in store on eccc but all the malls are closed down so i wonder how i'm gonna get my five dollars back that's what i'm most worried about right now i know a lot of pre-orders have been getting canceled and stuff like that but i've seen that some pre-orders have been coming back up but they were canceled before and well, 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 time out, time out. Let's talk about the Figpin thing. So Figpin been canceling some people's orders, claiming that they're bots when they're really not. And I just think that's a very, very horrible and very bad move. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta mend that. Y'all gotta like do something better for the collectors that actually collect Figpin because now y'all are making bad relationships and y'all just do, conducting bad business basically. Figpin, y'all better get on it because I was thinking about getting Figpins. I've been eyeing them. Because everybody on my Instagram, they've been collecting fake pins, and man, they look so good. Imagine putting some fake pins next to your Funko Pops, just in the collection. Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh, it looks so fire. But I can't do that now because fake pin, you messed up. Bad business, you messed up. Now I understand that y'all are trying to stop bots because a lot of other sites uh, for collectors that uh, collectors use to buy pops, they don't stop bots, but come on. Really? I don't know how y'all gonna do to mend this situation, but y'all better do it soon and quick because a lot of people are gonna jump off that fake pin train and it's gonna be hilarious when all those fake pins just drop in value. But let's go ahead and open this because I was on a huge sidetrack. I had to do that for my boy Funko Source because fake pin didn't do him dirty. And uh, right now we're gonna see if FYE did me dirty on this packaging because this box is pretty small and this box is kind of dented somewhere. It was dented somewhere where I'm feeling. It's right here. It was dented right here. I just hope that they, oh, I just hope that they package this right because if not i will go to fye with a very mad customer service email all right guys moment of truth that's my shipping information y'all don't need to see that okay uh shipping's all right i took my invoice out but shipping's all i mean look if i would have went too far with my box cutter or my knife my box knife I would have went straight through the pot, but this is the fye pink chrome exclusive majin boo this is I actually kind of like this chrome, not gonna lie. <laughs> gotta do a little review on this, gotta do a little comparison video on all the other Majin Buu pops that we have, but this pink chrome one is actually kind of nice. I actually like this chrome. I generally don't like chromes, but this one, I think I'm gonna have to add this, I'm gonna have to add this and be happy about this to the collection. 
that pink chrome is actually fire. I'm not gonna lie. Now we got the next package right here. This is a grill call from Macari. Uh, some of my Discord friends in, the, in my server, Sacred Discord, the Kai's, and the link for that will be in the description below. They know that I was looking for this pop, and they actually updated me when it went live. I woke up the morning of. They told me if I'm. They asked me if I'm gonna get it, and I had to get it, especially for the price that I was at, because a lot of people have been price gouging this pop when it's only worth like eighty-five dollars on the Funko app, even though. I didn't buy it for $85. I bought it for a little bit more, but I still got it for a better price than a lot of other listings. But I got this on Macari. I usually don't like to use Macari, but I've been having to use it lately because it has been the plug for good price pops. This is a moment of truth too, because if this is badly packaged, I will be sending, giving him that rating. And okay, it's not too bad so far. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. All right, all right, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm opening it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Here goes Hollow Ichigo. This is a grail. I actually had two of these back when they first came out, but I sold them for my Red Eyes Golden Frieza. And obviously, I came out on the better end of that deal. But I had to re get this bad boy to add to the collection because I am completing a lot of anime sets that I did sleep on before. And this pop. It's an older pop. At least the inserts, in, I mean, the window's in good, but mm, it's kind of dingy. It's kind of dusty. I'll try and put a picture up somewhere to show how dingy it's looking, but I mean, it was the best one. I mean, once you put it in a protector, it's going to look a little nice. I'm an inbox collector anyway, so I guess box condition isn't that bad to me, but I am an inbox collector, so I want at least a decent looking box, but huh. Huh. <sighs> It's all right, it's all right. I'm just grateful that I was able to secure one at a good price because a lot of people were asking some outrageous price. I've seen one for $400. 400 Nah, that's rent. You're probably saying, like, how could I say that? But I got an Arlea. Mind your business. Last package we got right here. This is from Lazy Youth. He is a Texas native, just like I am. And he does a lot of custom Funko Pop uh, work. And he wanted to send me some pops just so I could, sh uh, I guess, show them off on the channel just for me to have them. And I know he's looking for a lot of cool people in the community. So definitely go follow him. His Instagram will be in the description below. Really cool dude. Pretty nice to me. Um, I guess just don't get on his bad side, but you shouldn't really try to get on anybody's bad side, I guess. Okay, so what we got right here? We got a little letter. I think, I think it's a letter. Now, Lazy, you know I can't read, so I don't know why you're giving this to me. But let me read the letter. Hey, what's up, Dark Sage? I'm Dark Sage, in case you didn't know. I want to thank you again for signing this pop for me and for all the love and support you have shown me over the past couple of weeks. He is pretty good at his work, uh, like I said before. Go check out his Instagram. Here's a picture right here. Pretty good at the glitter work. And a token of my appreciation, I wanted to give you this gift to enjoy. So, so enjoy. Oh, I can't read. So enjoy. Thanks, my boy. Thanks. I, I really appreciate this already. I appreciate it just because I had a note with it. And maybe we could collab later on a giveaway for your channel. That is a definite. I'll be definitely down. Comment down below if y'all would love like a giveaway between me and Lazy Youth. I want to start doing more giveaways on the channel and on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram so y'all can stay in tune. And follow, like I said, follow his Instagram. And I got other people that I'm friends with too. So y'all need to just go through my follower list and just follow some people. Then he put his Instagram and his Mercari. I'll put his Mercari down below as well. And I'll put uh, his Instagram down below as well like i've been saying i like his logo i think it was made by mr collected pretty dope logo i like the logo at least a lot of people have been going to him lately i know he's had a podcast with my friend dr all so y'all could go check that podcast out too because i was on the podcast and i thoroughly enjoyed it and i enjoy a lot of other episodes he has with a lot of other funko pop uh collectors and things like that so if you want a funko pop collecting podcast that sounded weird but if you want a good collecting podcast let's do go ahead listen to dr all mites it's pretty good listen i listen to it every morning when i'm at work and it gets me through the day so so quickly all right so right here he did he did give me the nice packaging y'all know how i like the nice packaging this right here is the gift this is the one that he wants me to sign let's go ahead and look at this gift real quick like i said before lazy youth i'm very grateful to even get a gift i'm very grateful to get anything from you guys it means the world that y'all actually like my videos watch my videos and support me like it just means a lot to me like i never thought i'd get this far on youtube and i'm just entirely grateful for it Okay, he gave me a Vegeta. <laughs> I like how he put that in there. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Is this the one that I saw him working on? Oh my God. <laughs> you see this? You see this? 
This is dope. This is super, super dope. Oh my God. Like, I got to get this out of the box. Show y'all on a rotating display because this is super dope. I love the stick. I love his custom sticker. If y'all haven't seen before, I did get some custom pops on this channel before. You click this top annotation slash car, whatever's above my head, you could click that. I got some from Pugs Life before too, and I enjoyed those customs. I enjoy these custom pops. And oh my God, this custom that he sent me, Planner Arlea. If you, like I said before, if you're a rotating viewer slash subscriber, you know that I love Dragon Ball Z and this. This is super dope. I even love his, I love his sticker. He even put his exclusive sticker right there. Like. <sighs> I had to calm down for a bit because that custom was hard. Like I was looking at it on his Instagram page and I was like, man, if I could get that, if he gave me that, who would have be fired to the collection? I, I didn't think he was going to give it to me. I, he knows I love Dragon Ball Z. Everyone knows I love Dragon Ball Z, but this custom pop right here for me, for me? Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Bro, I'm really grateful for it. And I, I really appreciate it. Oh, my God. Like, I got to I gotta put this on my other custom pops. Now I need a little display for custom pops only. Because that pop is heat. This is the custom that Lazy Youth uh, customized and he sent for me. I really love it. I love the colorway on this. This is the Planet Arlea Vegeta. This is a little more accurate, I guess, to the show because he did fight on Planet Arlea. Kind of. But I love the coloring. I love the custom. I just... Vegeta in this in this outfit, this is that drip. This is Vegeta with that drip. He put in a nice little protector for me. So I definitely got to... Oh, I definitely appreciate that. Thank you, Lazy Youth. This means a lot to me. Man, this was such a great gift. I am just honored to have such, something like this because this is super dope. And I know customizing Funko Pops takes hard work, time, and effort, which I don't have. And he took the time out of his day to make this, and it just looks great. And I'm glad that he actually gave this to me. Thank you for that. Let me show you the pop that he wants me to sign. This is the one that he wants me to sign. We're going to get this from the bottom right here. Oh man, I got one signed, but he wants me to sign this. I got this in the collection. I don't got this one signed, but I got this in the collection. And man, I'm going to have to give him like a fire signature. I don't know how to sign anything. So this is going to be the first exclusive that I've ever signed. But let me go ahead and sign this and I'll see how it looks. And I'll show y'all. All right, guys. So that is it for the mail call that I had in this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you guys want more like anime content, like manga, uh, not manga reviews, but more manga collections and Blu-ray collections on this channel. I definitely have a good amount of Blu-rays to show off and a good amount of manga to show y'all. But I'll probably show y'all on a different video because I do love my physical entertainment. But I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, like I said before, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like Funko Pop content, anime content, or Dragon Ball Z content. And don't forget to hit this video with a like button if you haven't already. Now I just say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.